Hello everyone. So my latest sabbatical book is leading from the second chair by Mike Bommen and Roger Patterson. Now this is a book about leadership but from a unique perspective as it's written not with primary leaders in mind, not the primary leaders in an organisation but for people who serve in a secondary leadership role. Now this book is written primarily from an American mega church context so I'm going to go out on a limb here to suggest that there are some organisational differences at times with the Methodist Church in the UK. However since models of leadership within Methodism are undoubtedly less hierarchical than in other organisations it felt like the model of second chair leadership was a good one to reflect upon for anyone serving the church in lee some leadership capacity either lay or ordained now at the beginning of the book mike and roger describe the challenges of second chair leadership in a way that felt familiar to me from within methodism namely that need to be a bold initiator and a faithful follower or a creative thinker and a detailed implementer. They go on to say that second chair leadership involves a special set of tensions, what they described as the three paradoxes of the second chair. Now the first of these paradoxes is the subordinate leader paradox. This section helps us to consider how can we continue to offer leadership within the church when there are times when we do not get to set our own agendas or determine everything we want to see happen. Here the importance of building good relationships comes to the fore both with other leaders and the wider church. The second challenge is the deep wide paradox. This raises the issue of how do we support the whole organisation, say a circuit or a, even a district, when we also have to go deeply within a specific set of responsibilities in a particular context. They speak of the difficulties that come from a singular focus on the local and how we can find ourselves operating from within silos. But then they go on to stress the importance of working in teams where a small number of people with complementary skills who are committed to a common purpose and mutual accountability can truly make a difference. And then the third element is the contentment dreaming paradox. This raises the issue of how do we find contentment in the role we are currently fulfilling when at the same time dreaming that God may use us in more and more ways. In this section they offer advice as to what they call leaving the second chair well but which I thought applied equally well to stationing and leaving our appointments well. Now all told this is a helpful and practical book if not necessarily one that makes for an interesting or digestible vlog. So take care everybody. See you again. Bye.